Hi, we're now at the Pelham Pet Shop. Uh, this is a great store for Pelham. Uh, it's very convenient. And uh, the owner here is Jeff. This is at least your second location here, right? Yep, I've been in town 15 years. And uh, I think we've been able to serve the community quite well. Yeah. We have uh, puppies and kittens and uh, full range of pet supplies, some other small animals, hamsters. Right. Uh, different kinds of birds. Now, you, yeah. you could purchase any breed here, right? Uh, is, is that right? Uh, some of the more popular breeds, yeah. certainly. Yeah. And if it's a breed that's rare that somebody wants, if I can't get it, I could certainly put them in the right direction. Right. And this is uh, this looks like a little chihuahua, right? There's a chihuahua puppy that we have for sale. Uh -huh. It's a cute little pup. Uh -huh. And uh, he'll be a great stocking stuff. For yeah, that would be that would be a surprise for someone. Yeah, it sure would. And what do you have particularly for the holidays? Uh, we do a, a full range of Christmas supplies for pets. Uh, and particularly, we do a lot of toys for dogs and cats, and um, birds, and you know what other other animals people have. Mm -hmm. And um, it seems to be uh, seems to be what people want for their pets. Uh, a lot of people buy Christmas gifts for their animals. And animals are part of the family. And uh, yeah, well, I know I'm a dog owner, and I, I come in here periodically to get supplies and get advice, which you, you're, you're you're quite generous with. And you also have a grooming service back here too, right? Yes, we do. And we uh, have a, a full grooming service. The dogs can get bathed and get their hair cut and um, nails done. And, Everything that they need, they yeah. can take care of right here in one place. So if you want your pet looking right. uh, good for the holidays, this is definitely a place to check out and have a time. Okay, Jeff, thanks a lot. Thank All you right. very much. Okay. Our stop now is at Lola's Tea House. Uh, this is a particular interest to me. Since I was a little kid, I, I didn't drink coffee, I only drank tea. And it's only when I started working I got caffeinated uh, and for work that I started getting the coffee, but I still love tea. and. Uh, I want to talk to uh, Leslie here, who's the proprietor of this uh, shop. And what was your inspiration for opening this? Uh, my inspiration was actually a familiar one. My father has, uh, has grown up as a tea drinker himself. He was raised by a mom who believed that tea had to be drank with every meal. We're from the Caribbean, so it was the English way, the British way to do things. And so it was my father's inspiration, actually. And uh, what type of teas do you have here? You have the regular ones, you have uh, exotic, you have medicinal ones? Or? We have a variety of 24 different loose leaf teas, ranging from the four basic types to uh, say medicinal, but we do have herbal teas, uh -huh. we do have some non caffeinated teas, uh, we have some ginger teas that might make you feel a little bit better, some chamomile, kind of help you calm down. But pretty this variety of teas. Right, and that, are those the four different types? Actually, I didn't know there were four basic types. <laughs> there are four yeah. basic types. They, what are black they? teas, uh -huh. green teas, oolong teas, and white teas. Okay. Well, I didn't know this is this going to be educational also. <laughs> and, uh, well, the holiday seasons are coming up. What in particular would uh, someone might be interested in uh, besides just coming in here and having a nice experience of sitting in this place? We do offer some gift baskets of three different variety prices and three different assortments that people can come and either place an order with me and I can customize the basket or they can come pick one up that's already pre-made or kind of create one based on some of the other retail items that we have on the shelves. And do you, would, if somebody wanted to have a party or something, would this, would you be available for that? Absolutely. There's there's been some folks who have actually made their reservations for a holiday party so far, but we can host maybe 25 to 30 people um, here at the tea house and a wide range of foods and teas and desserts, um, depending on the type of event that they'd like to have. They certainly can come for their parties or their business events or their work meetings. Okay, and the question I've been dying to ask here. If your name's Leslie, why is this called Lola's? <laughs> Lola is uh, my mom's name. She is 84 years old and is still alive and well and busy and quite active. And originally, because the family history came from my father's side, Lester's tea house didn't quite sound so appealing. Okay. <laughs> so we decided to name it after her. So named after her. Okay. And it sounds like everybody in your family's uh, name starts with L. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes, even the cat. Okay, well, good enough. Thanks a lot. Thanks very okay. much. Alrighty. We're now at the uh, powder room, and we're with the owner and founder, right, uh, yes. Tanya? Yes, 
And this, um, as you can tell by looking here, it's uh, women's clothing. And uh, what was your inspiration for uh, opening this? Well, my friend actually moved here about 10 years ago. And I, when I first came to the town, I fell in love with the town. It has uh -huh. this old, w welcoming feeling. And when I just walked up and down the block, it was just calling me. It's just a very inspirational block with the tree lines and the old kind of street lamps. So I felt oh. a small boutique would be perfect for this area. Well, that's great. You should be, uh, you should be uh, promoting our uh, our downtown. You did such a good job. Thank you so much. <laughs> and, what, and what in particular um, is your appeal to what what type of women? Or sure. What? Um, right now, I mean, I get girls in here every from ages 16 and up. Um, the shop is really catering uh, contemporary clothing for women who are into fashion. I have mm -hmm. trendy pieces, I have classic pieces, I have pieces that just work really well with what you already have existing in your closet, or if you want to just try and work on building a brand new wardrobe. So I have across the line wonderful pieces that can be transcended into, you know, each season. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what, in, any ideas for the holidays? Great ideas for the holidays. We have some wonderful stocking stuffers yeah. um, at, that I'm keeping at the uh, front area here. I have these wonderful peace signs were really big this year. I think it was yeah. the 44th <laughs> anniversary, so I did a lot of things with peace signs. Um, these little clutches, I have the jewelry here. Um, really reasonably priced, that's the other thing. Everything is very reasonably priced, especially with the economy the way it is right now. So yeah. they shop and they don't feel bad for spending that extra dollar. <laughs> so that's what's really important. I have a great um, eye mask, headbands, and all these items are under uh, $40. So that's a wonderful... Oh, so those would be, those would be great stocking supplements or individual gifts. Yeah, absolutely. And then December 13th and December 20th, I'm doing a pick a discount day. So my customer will come in here, they're going to dig into a basket, and the discounts are going to be from 10 to 20%. So you guys have to take advantage oh, of that. Oh, that, that, sounds, that sounds like fun, too. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. And uh, I like your choice of colors here. Yes. Did you pick this? I did, I yeah. did. The pink is uh, kind of representing my spirit, my <laughs> soul. I'm very bright inside, and I wanted to kind of project that. Um, yeah. When people come in, I wanted to draw them in, and I think that I've been successful so far. Well, I hope so. <laughs> and I think that I like the black and white photography too. Yes, so very that, inspired it, by the ladies of the fifties. Yeah. <laughs> are they all fifties? Yeah. Lot of them are, yeah right? Lots of them are. Lots yeah. of them are from the fifties and sixties. Um, I was asked, "Why don't I put anybody from today's generation?" And I just can't find anybody quite worthy just yet. <laughs> well, it, it takes time. You have to. It takes a period of time to see how they yeah. how they last. And, uh, yeah, right. These are proven. <laughs> yeah, and one thing you can't tell by the video, but it has a, an awesome uh, fragrance here. What is that? Oh, actually, I got this <laughs> fragrance from right next door at the uh, gift shop at um, Gracious uh, Living. Oh, okay. They have a great selection of candles, and my favorite is White Burke, and that's what's uh, burning right now. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, thanks a lot for Thank your time, you so and, much. and best Appreciate of luck you. for the holidays. Thank well, you very hope everybody much. comes in.